Hey everyone, this is Erin from Dawn's Appliances and today we're going to be talking about what the differences are between an agitator washer and an impeller washer. But before we get started and go into really the disadvantages and the advantages, I really want to show you what you're looking at. So first, if you want to come over here, this is going to be a washer with an impeller. As you can see, it's kind of a low cone at the bottom, still has some ridging. As you can see, you can kind of tell that that's going to do a lot of like moving around. And then over here, we're going to have your traditional agitator in the center. So it's a full piece that's going to extend the whole way up. And as you can see, it's going to have some ridging through there. So what the advantage to something like this is going to be, it's really going to work the clothes to get them clean. It's great for things that are super heavy duty, something that's really heavily soiled because it's gonna work those clothes really well. The disadvantage that I have personally found is things like straps, anything that's delicate, sometimes can get twisted or kind of wrapped around there. I can't tell you the number of tank tops I've had that have actually snapped off because of my old agitator. So what that is really gonna do for you is what do you wash? What is beneficial for you? Do you want something that's gonna be a little bit more heavy duty? You don't have a lot more delicate? This is gonna be for you. As for the impeller mo model over here, I always like to say this is literally taking a front load but making it a top load. So it's a little bit more gentle on your clothes. Not great or ideal for something that's super heavily soiled. It's still gonna work the clothes because what's happening is it's taking all the clothes that are around it and using that agitation with the clothes around it as it moves around in a circle. A little bit better for some things that are delicate, anything with straps. This is gonna be that model for you. What's gonna to happen too, is when the water fills up, you are gonna see a little bit of that wash action where it's gonna move a little bit, then stop, move a little bit, then stop, that's doing the exact same thing as the agitator. So really what it comes down to is, what is your preference? I found that people who've had an agitator typically stick with an agitator. But if you're looking for something a little bit more gentle, this might be a better model for you. But please, as always, stop in one of our showrooms, talk to our knowledgeable sales staff, and see what model is best for your lifestyle.